We now proceed with our regularly scheduled programming on this channel. I got back from vacation just about a week ago and uh, made a bunch of videos about that and now we're back to the usual trying whiskey, trying new bottles of whiskey that I have never had before and we're going back to our first impression, first impression style where I tried a whiskey for the first time and I'll let you know what I think of it as a first impression. There's no tasting notes. I've never tried this before. To me it's a new thing. This is the Highland Park 15 uh, Viking Heart. It's uh, from Orkney Island and um, it says on here, it's 44% alcohol by volume. That's a reasonable drinking strength, a little better than 43. Not quite 46, but... Oh. Does this one have... No, this flagon does not have the twist cap that Highland Park usually has. Yeah, it's about the same size as a Highland Park bottle but is actually a ceramic flagon. Why they chose to put it in a ceramic flagon, I have no idea. What does it say on the back here? Uh, oh. Tasting notes. Scan to learn more. There's a QR code on here. Government warning. Imported by Edrington America's New York, New York. So this thing came through the United States to get to Canada. It is a 750 mils. And uh, I bought it from Alberta. It came from Alberta. And what does it say about that here? Okay. Highland Park 15-year-old Viking Heart. I purchased it online the 3rd of May. 2022 and it was $169.99 so this was not a cheap bottle so let's see now $169.99 well there was GST on it so $169.99 times 0.05 is equal to 850 plus 16999 178.49 plus there was also shipping what well, was the shipping uh, I'm sure there was some shipping involved and that shipping was probably another forty dollars so another ten twelve thirteen dollars or so let's give it around two hundred dollars for this fifteen year old nice round two hundred dollars Right away it smells malty. Malty. A little bit fruity. A little bit spicy. I'm getting apples and cinnamon kind of thing going on here.
Yeah, malty and apples and cinnamon. What else? There's some more spices. A little bit of a fungus uh, uh, mushroom note. Don't know where that's coming from. What does our leggings look like? Okay, they are slow to come down. This is a viscous little treat. Very slow to come down. They're forming and down they come very slowly. Interesting. Apple, cinnamon, some other kind of spice going on. What will I get on the palate? Oh. It's viscous and alkaline at the same time. It's viscous and slippery. It's bottled at 44%. What am I getting now on the nose? Viscous, slippery, it transitions, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of peat smoke, apples and cinnamon spice, cinnamon, there's something else, there's some white pepper as well as cinnamon. It seems to have a long, spicy finish. And is there anything else I taste? I'm sure that besides the apples and cinnamon and white pepper, it just... Not much smoke. I was expecting a little more smoke with Highland Park. Very thick and slippery mouthfeel. Very nice. Apples, cinnamon, bit of peat smoke, some white pepper, and it just the finish is long. It just it just lasts. What else can I say about it? What do they say about it? it says here. A wild harmony of toasted cinnamon shards, mellow peat smoke, warm vanilla, sponge cake, sun-kissed lemon zest, fresh pineapple, and heather-rich honey. Okay, no added color. 
lemon zest. I'm not getting the sponge cake or so much vanilla as I'm getting the toasted cinnamon, which is really, really the strongest thing. And heatherich honey, you know, it may be that this will open up with time and get more interesting, but now on the initial, it's just a lot of cinnamon and white pepper and a bit of smoke. So that's the first impression. Now that I'm nosing it again after a couple sips, now I'm getting some, some of that peat. But it's, it's quite subtle. Yeah, this is another one that will need some time to open up a bit and get more interesting. Quite expensive if the experience is limited to what I'm experiencing right now. It needs some time, I think. This one may be one that I will come back to in time. Slunchava. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> An interesting thing happened when I poured a second glass of the Highland Park 15 Viking Heart. What happened was I poured a second glass so that I could put some in the infinity bottle. And the first sniff I got was vanilla. Interesting. The second pour, but the first pour, I didn't get it at all. It changes as it goes along. This will be very interesting. <laughs>